Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we're going to be trying out the new The Fate of the Furious DLC, the Ice Charger. It's supposed to be similar to the Dominus. It looks very similar to it. Um, and I've actually seen a post on Reddit <coughs> about both the dimensions and hitboxes and the turning radius of the ice charger is supposed to be slightly tighter than the Dominus. Just playing with it right now, um, it definitely feels thinner, like not near as wide and it also looks not as wide, which uh, is something I'm not much of a fan of, because um, it just doesn't feel like it works super well with it, and it like... It, it looks kind of strange, to tell you the truth. It looks like a 2x4 piece of wood, if I'm honest. Um, like, even the Batmobile is a plank, but it's, like, proportional, at least. And this thing just feels weird to fly with. Like, I don't even know how to put it into words. It, it just, there's something about it that feels strange. It could just be the whole, this is a new car just feeling it out process, but who knows. Uh, now we're gonna just try to go into some matches and uh, see what happens. Just go into standard for now. Mess around a little bit, see how it feels. And of course we get in on Aquadome, a map that I am tired of seeing so much because I see it so often even though I have it disliked. And I know a lot of people that I play with have it disliked so I don't quite understand why it comes up as often as it does. But about the DLC, I was honestly surprised to even see any new things announced since Dropshot. Ooh, I should have challenged. What am I doing? I'm losing focus just even trying to talk about and feel out this car. Um, but yeah, like I was not expecting to see a new DLC come out so quickly after Dropshot was announced and we got so many new things and we already got a new import car with the Indo. So, it it just seemed odd to come out with something new, so new already. And like, one thing that I, oh that didn't go up the wall, rip me. Um, one thing that I talked about with other people before is that I feel like Psyonix needs to give us some time to acclimate to all this new stuff that's coming out. Because there's a point where you put out too much new content where like there's so much that it's overwhelming and like there's too much for people to get to in general and so they can't get to everything yet and it takes even longer to finally get things settled in and it's just not a good situation to be in when you give your consumers or anyone too many things at once and don't give them time to actually like adjust oh what what a steal as for right now it's like eh, mm, it feels like it's trying to be kind of a mix between both the Indo and the Dominus and I don't know how I feel about that. When I tried the Endo, I didn't think I would like it, but I actually really enjoy it. It seems to be like that sweet spot. This is kind of like, feels like it's trying to be the same, but it doesn't quite feel right. Oh, rip me. And I'm not really, I'm not really sure how to think about it yet. It's, it's a very interesting feeling car, for sure. Uh, it's definitely one that I think I'd have to get used to if I was actually going to use it. And that's kind of the territory of any new car. But, eh, to be honest, even just from these few first impressions, I think I would s rather stick with just the na the normal Dominus. I like having um, the width on ladder cars if I can. Because, uh, generally speaking, like, even though I loved the hotshot when I first started playing the game, 
it just I can't play it anymore just because of how thin it is even though it's quite long oh it's close so it's like I I just I'm not really sure about it a very interesting feeling car I can say though that uh, flying feels pretty fluid for the most part like it's it's not a terrible feeling car by any means but it's it, it's definitely not as good as some of the others or like the more popular choices um, I definitely still think the Dominus is going to outshine this one for sure Okay, Th weird things are happening. Oh, I'm just ball chasing too, which is fabulous. And like, even aesthetically, I, I don't like the look of it. It appeared like it would be similar to the Dominus and like be close to being as wide, but it just does not, it does not fit the bill from what I was expecting it to be. I feel like it's a few people, probably not all, but at least a few feel the same way. Oh, that's not gonna wall. I took the beast too. Um, because I was not expecting it to look as thin, because it kind of reminds me of the Ripper, if I'm honest, um, from the Chaos Run DLC. Because the Ripper itself is like a, uh, it's like a Dominus if its sides were squished in. And that's really honestly the feeling that I'm starting to get from this one. Um, the Ice Charger is also supposed to be reasonably lar the long larger, reasonably longer than the Dominus. Um, I know that the, both the Breakout and I believe the Batmobile are longer um, than the regular Dominus, but not even like remotely close to as long as like um, the Ice Charger is now. So I don't know. It's it's not a car that I could recommend getting if you're. If you're wanting to get a new car that you would think about using more or use competitively in any sense, um, I think still the twin mill is probably your best option for any more of the or for any of the more recent DLC that is really that viable. Um, I would say the Endo, but the Endo isn't DLC, it's, a, it's just a new import. Um, but just as far as like being able to spend money and get the car now, I, I would recommend the newest one being the Twin Mill if you like the Dominus or Batmobile style. I just, I can't recommend this car. It, it just doesn't feel right. I think something about it feels off and very... Strange way, it's hard to describe without actually having driven it yourself. Um, like I'll, e I'll even go and check the width of the Ripper and the Ice Charger. The Ripper does seem to be slightly smaller um, than the Ice Charger. I think what really is getting me between these two is how, like, Notice how on the Ice Charger and the Ripper, the actual, like, regular fl frame of the car is fairly close. But the wheel wells and, um, I guess that's what, that's the only part you would call them, of the Ice Charger actually protrude outwards from the car itself, making it, it, it just feels weird to drive when that's there. Um, because it feels like the wheel should be underneath the car, um, 
like how the dominus is like they really don't protrude out very much whereas with this it's like you have your frame and then you kind of have your wheels set out quite a few inches from your car so it like visually for me it makes the hitbox feel weird um and so i don't think this is a car that i'm personally going to be using anytime soon or in the near future at all if i'm honest i'm not a huge fan of it just after what i've played and so that's basically my first impressions and my little pseudo review of the new dodge ice charger dlc hopefully that's helpful for you guys and give you an idea whether you want it or not i personally can't recommend buying it um the aesthetics don't look as good as what was shown in the trailer in my opinion the hitbox isn't that great to be honest at least from what i can feel or what i can tell from it so if you're thinking about buying it i would definitely go ask some other people who have used it already and get their opinions as well because it's one of those cards where I'd be like I don't know if it's really really necessary to get unless you want to support Psyonix or just be a collector like me and get it just so you have it so with all that being said thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video later